This webinar explains how to select critical control points, CCPs, for X-ray inspection systems. The webinar covers the following topics. Key questions for installing X-ray inspection. Why use X-ray inspection systems? How does an X-ray system detect foreign bodies? What are the limits of foreign body detection? Hazard analysis and critical control points, HACCP. How to conduct a hazard analysis. How to identify critical control points, CCPs, and final decision for establishing a balance between risk and cost. Manufacturers typically install X-ray inspection systems at the end of the production line, although systems can be installed at any point during the production process. The key questions are, what are the best locations for X-ray inspection? Where are the critical control points to ensure the highest levels of product safety? Should X-ray inspection be at the beginning of the production line, where the raw materials arrive, at some intermediate stage, or at the end of the line before products are shipped out? Would product safety and quality be enhanced by installing an X-ray system at more than one critical control point? X-ray systems ensure the safety of food and pharmaceutical products by offering unsurpassed detection of physical foreign bodies. No other technology detects such a wide range of foreign bodies, including glass, metal, mineral stone, calcified bone, and high-density plastic and rubber, to name just a few. X-ray systems are also capable of performing a wide range of inline quality checks, such as measuring mass, counting components, identifying missing or broken products, monitoring fill levels, inspecting seals, and checking for damaged products or packaging. Incorporating an X-ray system into a company-wide product inspection program to ensure product safety and quality can help manufacturers comply with national and international regulations, as well as standards set by retailers. An X-ray system is essentially a scanning device. When a product passes through the X-ray system, a grayscale image of the product is created. The software within the X-ray system analyzes the grayscale image and compares it with a predetermined acceptance standard. On the basis of this comparison, it either accepts or rejects the image. In the case of a rejection, the software sends a signal to an automatic reject system which removes the product from the production line. The detectability of foreign bodies and products using X-ray inspection depends on product density and thickness. Product density determines the depth of gray in the grayscale X-ray image. The denser the product, the darker the gray. To be detectable by X-ray inspection, a foreign body has to be denser than the product in which it's embedded. That means it will absorb more X-rays than the surrounding product and show up on a grayscale image as an area that's darker than its surroundings. Any foreign body with a density similar to or less than that of the product in which it's hiding is incapable of being detected by X-ray inspection. As the product thickness in the path of the X-ray beam increases, so does its overall level of absorption. This makes detection more difficult. A foreign body in a shallow layer of product in a bulk flow production line, for example, cereals or frozen berries, is easier to detect than a foreign body hidden inside a finished, sealed pack. In general, the smaller the product thickness, the better the sensitivity of X-ray inspection. Many other factors can affect the sensitivity of an X-ray system. The point to bear in mind is that sensitivity is not the same at every stage of a production line. Some locations are better than others for detecting certain foreign bodies. Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Points HACCP, was developed in the late 1960s by NASA and its partners as a way of ensuring the safety of food destined for astronauts. In 1993, the Codex Alimentarius Commission said HACCP was the most cost-effective way to ensure food safety, and it's now an international standard in the food industry. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization defines HACCP as a system that identifies, evaluates, and controls hazards which are significant for food safety.
It's a complete approach to safety, directed as much towards keeping contaminants out of the production process as it is to catching them before products leave the factory. HACCP consists of the following seven steps known as principles. 1. Conduct a hazard analysis. 2. Determine the critical control points, CCPs. 3. Establish critical limits for each CCP. 4. Establish CCP monitoring procedures. 5. Establish corrective actions. 6. Establish verification procedures. And 7. Establish record keeping and documentation procedures. Every manufacturer should perform a hazard analysis for every product they produce to assess the risk of foreign bodies being present. A food or pharmaceutical safety hazard is anything that could be a threat to human health. To conduct a hazard analysis, manufacturers should do the following. 1. Create a flow diagram of the production process and ensure they include every single operation and input, including ingredients and packaging materials that touch or affect the line. 2. For every process and input, potential hazards must be identified. Manufacturers should look at the sources of the hazards, as well as the actual hazards, and consider whether their manufacturing processes introduce, control, or increase the hazard. 3. Evaluate the likelihood of the hazard occurring. Filtering out unlikely events will help manufacturers focus on the risks that are relevant, the ones that have a reasonable chance of occurring. 4. Think about the preventative measures that can be put in place to stop or reduce the risk of these foreign bodies getting into the product. Manufacturers should concentrate on operational procedures, such as the frequency of maintenance, safety inspections, visual checks, encasing of the line, training, etc., that will keep physical foreign bodies out. It's important to bear in mind that some hazards may require more than one preventative measure. A hazard analysis requires that all hazards which may be reasonably expected to occur, including hazards that may be associated with the type of process and facilities used, are identified and assessed. The potential sources of foreign bodies also need to be identified. For example, if a producer makes snack or cereal bars, the hazard analysis may show a potential risk of foreign bodies from the following areas. Stone and glass from incoming raw materials, sieve wire from damaged sieves, blades or paddles from mixing or blending of ingredients, metal fragments from the rolling process, cutting blades from the final cutting of the bars. These examples show that different types of foreign bodies can cause potential contamination at different stages of the production process. Identifying hazards is the first step to creating a HACCP plan. When controls are in place, manufacturers have a safe production line, but not a foolproof one. No matter how rigorous you are, some foreign bodies will creep through, and some processes can introduce new contaminants. Also, depending on the quality of suppliers, your raw ingredients could already be contaminated when the products arrive. This is the stage where manufacturers should think about additional control measures, such as X-ray inspection. However, the question is, where should an X-ray system be placed? The second stage of HACCP, identification of CCPs, helps manufacturers choose the best place to install an X-ray system. A CCP is a step or process that's essential to product safety. It's the point at which control must be applied to reduce the risk of foreign bodies to acceptable levels. The traditional method of determining CCPs is to work through a decision tree. However, Although the methodology is rigorous, it's not always the most appropriate for capital investment items such as an X-ray system. Other factors such as cost-effectiveness and practicality are just as likely to influence the decision of whether to purchase an X-ray system and where to place it. The reality of manufacturing is that a risk-based balance should be established which considers costs and complexity against total risk elimination. Let's look at where X-ray inspection will be most effective at detecting foreign bodies on the production line. These stages include inspecting raw materials, bulk flow, loose products, pumped products, 
products before and during processing, after processing, before packaging and sealing, after packaging and sealing, and final cases. Raw ingredients come with a high risk of foreign bodies. Manufacturers are reliant on the quality control standards of their suppliers. Some manufacturers even insist that their suppliers have X-ray systems installed to reduce the risk of contaminated raw ingredients. Eliminating the risk of foreign bodies as early as possible in the production process can be vital. An undetected stone or shard of metal can cause damage to downstream processing equipment, or it could be made smaller, making detection more difficult. Early detection keeps costs down by eliminating contaminants before values added to the product through processing and packaging. Typical bulk flow applications include peanuts, extruded snacks, dry fruits, vegetables, sweets, and pulses. Bulk flow products are presented in a layer at a constant depth on a conveyor, typically 25 millimeters or less. This shallow depth offers outstanding levels of sensitivity for X-ray inspection, up to four times more sensitivity than inspecting finished packs. That's why it's worth thinking about placing an X-ray system early in the process where it can inspect incoming goods or raw materials. It allows foreign bodies to be removed at the source and immediately traced back to the supplier. Pumped products are typically slurries, semi-solids, and fluids before final packaging. Typical applications include sauces, jams, minced meat, whole muscle, chocolate, fruit puree, dairy spreads, and pharmaceutical slurries. Like bulk machines, an X-ray pipeline system is usually located upstream to inspect products at an early stage. It offers very good detection levels because the product's homogenous and usually pumped through an inspection manifold that's 50 millimeters deep or less. It's much easier to find a foreign body in a pipeline system than in finished products such as glass jars. It keeps costs down by eliminating foreign bodies before values added to the product through processing and packaging. Processing changes the nature of the product, often making it more difficult to find foreign bodies. Cooking can produce chemical changes that alter the density of physical foreign bodies, while mechanical processing can break foreign bodies up into smaller pieces. The density of cooked bones, for example, is much lower than that of uncooked bones. When bones are cooked, the collagen in them breaks down, weakening the bonds that hold the calcium together, making the bones harder to detect. The change is most pronounced in poultry bones. Foreign bodies can also damage processing equipment, leading to downtime, costly repairs, and additional metallic foreign bodies from damaged machinery. Typical X-ray systems used before or during food processing are bulk flow and pipeline X-ray systems. However, Conveyorized X-ray systems are also available to inspect products such as raw chicken. Food processing can be a source of fresh foreign bodies. Worn or damaged equipment can shed shards of metal, while undiscovered foreign bodies can cause equipment damage that can introduce further foreign bodies into the production stream. It's possible to leave X-ray inspection to the end of the production line. After all, that's the place to intercept any foreign bodies that haven't been caught elsewhere. However, at each step of the production process, there's a chance that existing foreign bodies will cause more damage and be broken down into even smaller pieces. The closer you get to the end of the line, the more likely it is that manufacturers will choose to place their X-ray inspection equipment at the very end. That's when X-ray inspection becomes a catch-all for any foreign bodies that haven't been removed elsewhere. However, there are arguments for moving the X-ray system upstream before products are packaged and sealed. For example, X-ray inspection is more effective at detecting foreign bodies in products which haven't been packaged or when the final package hasn't been sealed. It's more costly to reject portioned and packaged products than it is to reject a product that's still being processed. There may not be enough space at the end of the line for an X-ray system. The most common location for an X-ray system is after packaging and sealing. 
Since packaging comes in many formats, such as glass jars, metal cans, plastic bottles, trays, containers, pouches, etc., equipment manufacturers have developed a wide range of X-ray systems to suit each application. The product sealing process can itself introduce foreign bodies. For example, the screwing of lids onto glass jars can cause shards of glass to break off and fall into the product. By installing an X-ray system at the end of the production line, the sealed product can be inspected and contaminated products can be removed from the production line before they are packaged and shipped. Another benefit of installing an X-ray system at the end of the production line is that manufacturers can incorporate additional quality control checks, such as checking the over and underfill of products, counting components, measuring gross and zoned mass, detecting broken, misshapen, or misaligned products, checking for the presence of inserts, detecting damaged packaging, and inspecting seals for trapped product or contaminants. X-ray inspection is a powerful tool. A large X-ray system can detect foreign bodies inside cases as large as 440 mm wide by 550 mm high. Typical examples include single or multiple primary small packs inside a larger secondary pack or case or loose products in large bags or sacks before they are shipped. The first step to locating an X-ray system on a production line is the HACCP process and the determination of CCPs. Without that crucial background information, X-ray inspection won't be grounded in the overall HACCP approach and product safety could be compromised. That knowledge has to be set in the context of X-ray inspection technology and an understanding that equipment sensitivity isn't the same at every stage on a production line. Detection levels are typically better in the early stages of the production process where unprocessed products can be presented in a shallower depth and with a more uniform texture. As the line progresses, the nature of contaminants can change too. Each processing step can introduce new foreign bodies or break existing ones down into smaller, less detectable pieces. Detecting foreign bodies early isn't just more efficient in terms of reduced costs and wastage, it also helps prevent damage to processing equipment, which in turn can introduce more foreign bodies. Installing X-ray equipment at the end of the line is the safest way to detect foreign bodies in a single operation. Since the production process is over and the product sealed, no further foreign body can enter the product. The end of the line is also the point where manufacturers can use X-ray technology to catch other quality control issues. However, the final decision usually comes down to establishing a balance between risk and cost. While some manufacturers install more than one X-ray system on a single line, most choose just one, and they install it where they get optimal results. They choose the location based on their analysis of detection levels, risk levels, potential for equipment damage and downtime, brand reputation, and cost of wastage. In short, they make a business decision. Occasions also exist where it could be necessary to install more than one X-ray system, so there's no single solution that's right for every production line. Each manufacturer must analyze their own production process to define their own CCPs, as CCPs and product safety are the keys to choosing which kind of X-ray system to install and where. Thank you! And if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest product inspection trends, just follow us on social media. Connect with us on LinkedIn, follow us on Twitter at Eagle X-Ray, follow us on Google+, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.